Daisy, please leave me alone. Sorry, we're closed. I'm just looking for a copy of Days of Fire. Sorry, it's out of print. I was told I could special order it. <laughs> I think I can help you. Sam, good to see you. Taylor. It's good to see you too, John. Hello, John. Follow me. We've got work to do. Taylor tells me your mission was a success. The two of you managed to take out the virus on the Seaward Star. Well done. Thanks. It was touch and go for a while. But we got the job done. I would expect nothing less from you, old friend. What's with all the extra security around here? The shop's armory in Santa Monica was taken out recently. I thought you'd heard about it. Well, in my defense, I've been kind of busy. <laughs> so you have. still aren't sure what happened. In the meantime, we can't be too careful. Vergara seemed to know a great deal about the shop. And about me. I don't really see how he got so much information. Could the two incidents be connected? You suspect an inside job, John? A mole? It's just a hunch I have. But it could be. Sounds like something for internal affairs. I'll get them to look into it right away. Good idea. As you said, we can't be too careful. Our research department is trying to make sense of this whole mess with Prometheus, Vergara, and the Seaward Star. The top brass really wants to take out this Prometheus group immediately. Based on what we've seen so far, they're extremely dangerous. Sam and I have been coordinating with research and our field agents on this one, John. I think we may have something. We discovered that Manuel Vergara has ties to this man, Alexei Nashrad. Nashrad is ex-KGB, John. Extremely dangerous. This is the only photo we have of him on file. I've seen him before. He was at Vergara's mansion in Colombia. He got into a limo and left the compound just as we arrived. We also have the lab report from Pureza. We've entered the lab's finding with the keyword Romulus in the FBI's carnivore database. Intensive research brought back mostly Roman mythological references, most notably Prometheus. But something in the search didn't fit. We've determined that Romulus is indeed the code name for the mutagen used on Pereza. When we cross-referenced Romulus and Prometheus, we started getting references to something called the Gemini virus. Our agents ran a trace and discovered that this so-called Gemini virus is actually a two-part strain, composed of Romulus and another unknown element, Remus. Yeah, we're speculating that Remus is a sister virus, but we have no idea what it does. I don't like the sound of that. Our research hit was at a dead end when the carnivore taps turned up an email that mentioned Prometheus and, more importantly, Remus. According to the email, Remus is currently in development in Hong Kong. We've even got an address. Who sent the email? Someone with the net name Deviant One. That's all we know. Whoever Deviant One is, they've successfully masked their identity from the carnivore program and the FBI. The identity trace failed. So how do we know this Deviant One guy is legit? We don't. Unfortunately, it's the only lead we have. Good point. When do we leave? You're on your own on this one, John. I'm going to stay here and help Sam find out more about Romulus and Deviant One. I'm also going to see if we can find out how Alexei Nashrad fits into the picture. We've arranged transportation for you to Hong Kong. Everything's set to go. I'll let you know if we find anything. I'll do the same. Be careful, John. You too. <laughs> 